back here to go to the blue line. Meanwhile, here comes Lucic the other way. Lucic kind of backhanded in front. It's picked up and fired just wide. Creechie had an opportunity to him in the play. Everly will get it right back below the goal line. Tries to wrap around. Blocked by Lundquist. They still battle. Digging. Sends it out. Boog hands it off. Digging. Finds McCray for a shot. Right past the rebound chance off a stick. And Chara back to get it. A little more pepper in the pot to start game two than game one, huh, Dave? Absolutely. <laughs> From both teams. Yes. Intercepted by Boyle. Trying to split the Bruin defense. Great play by McQuay. As he got the puck and swept it aside. It didn't take a penalty. And back comes Krejci now the other way. Hands it out for Horton. Has a man open on the far side. Krug and he scores! Corey Krug. Two games in a row. Stretch pass, and that is offside. They're letting it go. Delayed offside. Seven seconds. Six. It's counting down. And now it'll be hammered three-quarters length of the ice wide. And picked up by Lucic. Boy, don't ever give up on a play right here. No, that, that was strange. Oh. Nash with six shots on goal and an assist in game one. Getting pucks to the net. Still looking for his first goal in the playoffs. Lucic with a big hit. Milan Lucic has turned it up after a pretty soft season. Lucic with eight hits in uh, game one. Back to the line, McQuay. Just seems to be moving his feet more. He's in better shape. He's a little bit out of shape, Dave. Now Campbell back to the line. Quickly across for Krug. Again, great play with his skate. Rebound, score! Great play, great finish. 
And Nash, you could sense he was starting to come. You're talking about Tyler Sagan. You could see Nash. He was dangerous a couple times in the overtime of game one. Had a great scoring chance before it was eventually clinched by Marshawn. Now a bouncing puck in front of Rath. Oh, he just got his left skate out there. He doesn't have it covered up yet. Boyle digging away at it. Hyatt is there. Dorsett and Kelly pushing and shoving. That wouldn't be wise for Kelly. Campbell. Hands it off. First the speed here. Horton trying to drag it ahead. He turned it over. Look out. Bruins just changing their D. Nash drops it back. First hard with a shot. Save. Rebound chance. Ends up on the far side. Well, he's got a little jump in the step now. Makes a little fake there. Charles saying, will it come to the front? Save by Rath. Good stop there on Ryan McDonough. Beverly comes out with it. Gets it to McQuaid. Couldn't settle it down. Now he lets it go. Eminger blocked it. Loose in front. Just missed the stick of Beverly. Now Krejci drops it back. Barkowski has to chase it. Callahan after him with a big hit. Now Chara running to by Hagelin. Puck turned over here. Callahan centering pass. A chance here. Hit the goal post. Bumps off the goal post and back underneath Rask. What an opportunity here. Then you create the opportunity for Callahan to get to the loose puck. Throw it on goal. Nice outlet Everybody. pass there for Krejci. No! Far side. Chance here for Hamilton cutting in. And taken down going to be a penalty. Both officials put their arms up on this one. Haglund. Strong play on the puck. Circles the net. Wade shoots. Rath the save. What a play by Haglund. Krejci far side. Back to Krejci. Wade gets one man down. Still has it behind the net. Centering pass. Blocked by Strawman. Recovered here by the Bruins. Oh, what did that hit? Off the, the side post. of the net and up high. Yeah. Slides it across for more wrist shot here. And seeing that all the way is Tuka Rath. 8-14 remaining in the second as Tepper's get a little short. A couple of the Bruins took a couple of shots and Asham saw it and he took exception. And I think when we come back, we're going to have four skaters aside in a 2-2 game. It's in five straight. Here's Boychuk with a shot. Score! Bergeron set the screen and the Bruins four on four take a 3-2 lead. This is a breakdown in coverage because of the speed of Brad Marshan. Callahan's supposed to have Boychuk, but he has to respond to Marshan winning the race. Watch 24 and 63. Callahan has to take him. Then he's going to pass him off, but he doesn't. He gets caught, and that's his man, Boychuk, shooting the puck. When you're in a four on four, the forwards have the opposition defense, and you pass that man off to your defenseman. But because there's a bad switch, and people going to the net, look at the time and space. Boychuk looks up, shoots through the screen of Bergeron, 3 2 lead. That's just a great play by Marshan. Unfortunate situation for Callahan. Not easy to beat Hendrik Lundqvist three times in a game, and now the Bruins have done it twice, and there's still time remaining in this one. Well, the Rangers are going to have to get some help, and oh, boy, did McDonough come close to getting the third goal for Lundqvist and the Rangers. Delzato. Out of the box come Asham and Thornton. Callahan battling there with Peverly. Now it comes to Aaron Asham. Penalty coming, Penalty coming. Penalty. Yep. They're going to check for blood on Callahan. Now for Broussard. Straight away. Broussard waits. Gets it through. Save Rath. Loose puck. Callahan and Hagler were there. In deep. Boy, Chuck. Giveaway. Hagler. Oh, what a right hand save by Tuka Rask. Delzato. Now Lucci able to drop it back for Krug. That's what you do. Skate yourself out of trouble. Wow. That's what this kid can do, and the crowd reacts to it. Hands it off and forces Lundquist to make a save, does Nathan Horton. Never drafted out of Michigan State. Free agent. Think a few scouts made a mistake. In Boston, they call it Tuca time. And he couldn't have picked a better time to have some Tuca time right there against Hagelin. David Krejci. Going to sit down the opening goal of this game to move into the playoff scoring lead. Penalty walks out front. Trying to go high far side. He didn't miss by much. Creative play. Unquist settles it down as the final five seconds tick off the clock. And Barkowski with a shove on Callahan. Callahan comes right back at him. Barkowski comes up on him. As the players have to be separated. Had to pay a price to get them with the uh, players that went the other way. Dubinsky, Anisimov, 
Erickson, as this third period is underway, Bruins with a 1 0 lead in the series. And a 3 2 lead here in this game, too, is Boychuk. Does it up the far side, but it doesn't come out. Stefan tried to roll it in deep, but it was blocked by the Bruins, and Bergeron has it now. Two on two into the Rangers zone. Takes it wide, rolls it to the first score! Boy, did that look like the overtime goal of Bergeron to Marshawn right on the tape. And that makes it four to two. Good defense, Dave, leads to better offense. Barkowski strong in the board. Jarmer Yager helps him out, and there's his support from the center in Bergeron. Up and out of the zone, working wide on Delzato. Marshawn saying, I'm open, I'm open. What a subtle little play by Marshawn, skipping around Danny Girardi. And you want to talk about, he's not looking at the men. He's looking at the puck. And because he gets caught puck watching, he gets beat to the net. That's a lot now for Marshawn. Intercepted. Hagelin, a little self-chipped, and he's chipped it far enough. He does pick it up behind. Boychuk cuts it with a backhand. Save made by Raskin, then. Hagelin hit up high, and I think there's a penalty coming, yes, against the Bruins. Now Broussard waits, and that was tip save. Rebound chance stopped by Rask as well. Riccarello goes to the high slot. Here's a shot that doesn't get through. Marchand gets a piece of it. Oh, Boyle steps into Chara. No call coming. Loose puck near the net and sent just wide. Rask may have gotten a piece of that. Now McDonough right up into the offensive end. Tries to set up Boyle going wide. Perfectly timed. Had it on the stick. Richards gets it back now for Moore. Taken back by Marshawn. Jogger wins that battle for the puck. Sets it up here for a shot that is steered aside by Lundqvist. That was Bergeron that just quickly redirected it toward the Ranger net. He couldn't get much on it. Now, further the shot. That got all the way through. Lundqvist is safe. In front! Jogger! Oh, how did he not score there? He can't believe it! Larceny by Lundqvist! Oh, what a save by Lundqvist. He's checking to see exactly where that puck is. Doesn't this speak to the competitive nature and the greatness of Henrik Lundqvist as well, Dave? He didn't even get on that play at all. And then he closes his legs down at the last second. It's in behind him, watching the dark puck right there. And he's aware enough to bring his right leg over and close it down. Hamilton plays it ahead. Lucci looking to bear in. Centering pass. Score! It bounced right back to Lucci. He had a wide open net. He makes it 5 2. Careful when you poke the bear, John. When you poke it, because that's one of the guys that's a grizzly, and he can, when he's on his game, devour you. Dougie Hamilton's composure, chip play. There's no way Broussard's going to be able to handle Lucic going to the net. It's just an unfair fight in terms of size, and then Lucic shows a little bit of his skill below the icing line to chip it into the empty net. And Pierre, if you're John Tortorella, do you give any thought of putting uh, Marty Biron in and letting Henrik Lundqvist rest and get ready for game three? Or is it too early for that with seven minutes to go? Oh, I think you got to think about that. I wouldn't do it right now. And now we got uh, Campbell and Dorsett. Two yeah. guys that control him. Well, uh, Dorsett, Campbell's tough. He's sneaky tough. Dorsett's more of a guy that's been through this before. But Gregory Campbell can fight. Well, if you're going to find the right time to do it, if you're Dorsett, he did. Yeah. They're both switching hands. And Gregory's tough. He's a tough kid. Now Broussard pushes it into the Bruins zone. Lucic sends it across. Chara. Kelly. And a sidestep. A check right to Lucic. And a save made here by Lundqvist. Came back to win. Now knocked down, overskated momentarily there by Sagan, recovered by Thornton. He back hits the front, what a redirection, and a save, that was Paye. It was. Wow, what a stop, what a redirection. Campbell sends it back in deep, Strawman is there. Strawman taken down, penalty coming on Sean Thornton. Not up for the Norris Trophy, but I don't think there's a better defenseman in the National Hockey League when he's playing. Look out, down. here's Paye, short-handed breakaway. Oh, would that have added insult to injury? He got slashed. He's hurt. He's coming off. 
Here's Hurt coming off Danny Pyatt. Creates a breakaway opportunity for himself. Going in, there's a slash. Right in the arm, no pad at all. Boom. Can't say enough about Pye and Campbell and Thornton and how they influence this game for the Bruins. Absolutely. McDonough sends it across, and the young defenseman again come through. And uh, well, Julian's going to have some decisions once Barrett's and Seidenberg and Redden are all healthy and ready to go because right now, with three young defensemen, the Bruins have a 2 0 lead in the Eastern Conference semifinals. Disappointing afternoon for Lundquist and the Rangers as the Bruins out to congratulate Tuka Raft.